What's going on, everybody? Terrell Friday here with Future DDS. On this installment of the DSC series, we have Tanner Bringhurst from University of Utah School of Dentistry. Uh, what's going on, Tanner? How are you doing? I'm doing good. Hope everyone's doing all right during a coronavirus outbreak. But yeah, Man. doing good. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Hope everybody out there is staying safe. Uh, but Tanner, again, man, thanks for taking some time out. I know we have a little extra time now, but, you know, take some time off from spending time with family and everything to speak with us. Um, yeah, yeah. If you could, man, if you could give us just a brief, uh, you know, a brief reintroduction of yourself, a little summary of your journey into dental school, you know, where you're from, where you went to undergrad and everything. Yeah, uh, so I'm originally from Pocatello, Idaho. Um, right. A lot of people might not know where that is, but that's southeast Idaho, about two hours north of Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, I was born and raised there. I went to undergrad there uh, at Idaho State University, uh, go Bengals. Um, and I got my undergrad degree in biomedical sciences there. Um, spent four years to get my degree. Um, and yeah, I a little bit more about me. I love the outdoors. I love skiing. I love mountain biking. Uh, I love hiking. Um, I love boating, really anything outdoors uh, I love to do. Um, and yeah, I'm married. Uh, I have a wife, no kids. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit about me. Nice, nice. So you went straight to dental school from undergrad, right? I did, yeah. Um, so a little interesting story about my application process. Um, as I was finishing up my degree, um, and the way my chemistry worked out is I was in line to take organic chemistry my last year. Mm -hmm. um, so that was going to force me to take a gap year before uh, taking the dad and applying and all that. All right. um, and my brother, who was in dental school already, he's graduated and already working. He's ahead of me. Um, he's always been a big role model to me. I've always looked up, up to him. Um, and he... He encouraged me to just go ahead and try and take the DAT without having taken organic chemistry, mm -hmm. um, which, you know, like that's, that's insane. That's crazy. Who, who would do that? Like you want to do the best you yeah, can. I, I don't, Hey man, it's a lot of money to, to, to put on a risk like that. <laughs> right, right. Like I just thought it was insane. So, you know, like I kind of disregarded him. I'm like, no, no, like, I'm just going to take the gap year, I'll work, get some money, um, and then apply. Mm -hmm. um, and I actually asked our, our pre-health advisor what she thought, and she said, no, no way. Um, and I actually asked uh, a dean of admissions from a dental school what he thought about that, and he's like, no, like you really need to do the best you can do on the DAT. Um, but I, I kept talking to my brother, and <laughs> he kept pushing me, he kept pushing me. So Finally, I caved in. I was like, you know what? Maybe I could figure this out. Maybe I could just study Kaplan and get a basic knowledge of OCHEM and, and just try to get what I need to know for the DAT. Um, so I ended up doing that. And, you know, I don't recommend anyone do this. Right. It's, it's crazy. But um, so I ended up doing that so I, I wouldn't have to take that gap year. And uh, you know, my, my dad turned out all right. I, I got an average score. Uh, my OCHEM was a little low, but I made up for it in uh, the PAT section and biology section. Um, and uh, my general chemistry was a little better as well. So that, that helped me out. And, you know, I, it was, it was thankfully good enough to get my foot in the door and get some uh, interviews at some schools. So, yeah. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So if you could, you know, just speak a little bit more to the DAT, um, I guess what would be your number one tip for anyone that's, that's studying for it now trying to improve that score? Yeah, um, I think the biggest thing is to continue to do what you love to do. Um, and I think it's really important to set up a, a schedule for yourself and stay disciplined to that schedule. Mm -hmm. um, you know, take the time, spend as much time as you can studying, but also set aside time for yourself, uh, for your, for your mentality, you know, keep your mind healthy. Uh, so if you like to work out, schedule time to work out, schedule time to get outside and enjoy yourself, keep yourself happy and in a good state. Um, cause I remember sitting in the library, you know, for 
five, six hours during a day. And it just, it, it's rough. It drains you. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I think just stick to a schedule that you can set up um, and provide yourself, you know, I think I studied for a good um, 10 weeks or so and just allow yourself enough time to get through all the material. Got you, got you. Okay. So, um, you know, speaking specifically to um, the University of Utah, do you guys have any type of pre-dental days or any type of um, enrichment programs, maybe like a feeder program that you guys uh, offer to prospective students? Yeah, we do. We have uh, a pre-dental day. I think we do about two or three of those a year. Okay. Um, we also do a, um, oh, what's it called? Um, a personal letter workshop. We've done that before. Uh, so there's a few events out there that we do. Um, and we have, excuse me, um, we have a Utah ASDA um, Instagram. And I think we also have a Facebook page where we'll post about you know, all the events that are going on. Um, and yeah, those are great. I actually went to those when I was applying nice. and those were fantastic. I got to meet the Dean of admissions. I got to meet some faculty. Uh, I got to meet, you know, the, the students that were currently going there and got to ask them questions. So, um, I know they're sometimes a little spendy, but definitely worth the money, uh, nice. just because you can, you know, meet people and they can put your name or your face to the, your name and remember you. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so um, you said you had, um, you know, gotten, I guess, acceptances or interviews at a few schools. How many schools did you actually end up applying to, if you remember? Um, so I, I applied to, I think it was around 11. Okay. okay. Yeah. So how, how was the uh, the interview at Utah? How was, how was that whole uh, experience for you, you know, showing up and I guess kind of your feel going through that day? Yeah. Um, I was pretty nervous for all my interviews, to be honest. <laughs> like I would wake up and be kind of sick and uh, not feel too well. But uh, I think the overall theme from interviews is that they were way more laid back and not as intimidating as I was expecting them to be. And that's the great thing about interviews is they just really want to talk to you, get to know you as a person and see why you're interested in going to that school really. Um, so yeah, uh, the interview at, at the University of Utah was, was pretty awesome. It was uh, three 10 minute interviews with uh, three different faculties. Okay. Um, and yeah, they were, they were honestly pretty laid back. I mean, they just brought me in, just kind of talked to me, got to know me, asked me questions about my life, what I like to do. Um, so yeah, I, I actually really enjoyed it. It was one of the better, um, interviews I had and one of the interviews I felt better about. So yeah. Got you, got you. So after you finished up the interview, you know, you're feeling good about your chances and you finally get that acceptance. So now you show up uh, for first year, oh um, man, how was that experience for you? You know, going through first year, how was the curriculum kind of set up for you? And then um, how were you introduced into pre-clin and clinical uh, dentistry? Um, so first year was definitely busy. First semester was really busy as well. Um, the way it works at University of Utah is they like to load a lot of your coursework at the start of your um, four years. So that first year and a half, uh, we had 32 or so credit semesters. Um, and we were pretty much going eight to five every day. And then I would get home, eat dinner and have to study. Uh, so it was, it was pretty hectic. It was really busy. Um, but honestly it was manageable. And the, the faculty was really great. They were able to help us and uh, be there with us. Um, and, you know, there was a lot of quizzes, a lot of tests going on all the time. Um, but it was manageable. And I, again, I'll stress this again, is I stress to make time for myself, you know, get outside, go work out, do the things that I love to do. And that's really what made it manageable for me. Um, and I was able to find success with that. Um, 
And as far as clinic goes, we were able to be in a, in a uh, sim lab that first semester. Mm -hmm. So we were using hand pieces right off the start, which was great. Uh, that's one of the things that I looked for when I was uh, trying to find which school I'd really like to go to. Uh, so that really drew me to U Utah is using hand pieces right away. Um, and then we continued sim lab uh, throughout the semesters into second year when we actually started uh, seeing patients down in clinic. Got you. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 So you you really get. I guess a, a good feel for you know the clinical procedures before you actually get in there in second year. So and second year is still pretty early to go in there and see patients. So that's really good. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I guess um if you could you know last couple questions here before we wrap up. Um, what is something that you feel is unique about your school experience? And granted, you know we know you only have your one school experience at Utah, but but what do you is what's something you feel is unique? Um. I think what's most unique about Utah is the location. Uh, like I said, I love to do everything outdoors. Uh, I love to ski, mountain bike, do all that. Uh, Utah is home to five national parks and it's got over 40 state parks. Nice. So there's a variety of things to do. I know you go to dental school to go to dental school, right? And get your degree. Um, but it's, it's also great to live in Salt Lake and to be able to have access to so much recreation and, and things that I love to do mm -hmm. and to also be super close to home. Um, that's another great plus. Um, no, sorry, I'm touching my face. I'm not supposed to be touching my face, <laughs> um, but I think as one long of the you things washed up, you good, bro. As long as you watch, yeah. you, you should be all yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think one of the things that makes the school unique though is, um, that push to get the clinic uh, or the, the coursework done at an earlier stage so that you do have more time in clinic. Uh, like I'm in my third year right now and I have one afternoon during the week, which we have two classes and that's it. All the other time we're spending in clinic and it's, it's great. Um, the school is pretty new. They started in, I think 2013. Okay. Um, so there has been some growing pains with the school um, and that, and I say that because they are trying to get external rotations going, meaning okay. that we're not just doing dental work at the school itself, but we're also doing work at rotations across Salt Lake Valley and even down in, in Southern Utah at St. George. Um, and so there has been some growing pains with getting those rotations going and getting patients flowing through those rotations. Okay. Um, but I think the school is really at a, at a good place right now. And I think it definitely has a lot more potential to go. Gotcha. 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 And the last question, man, as we wrap up is if you can go back now, um, and tell the younger version of you, uh, why you're still applying to dental school and figuring out what school you wanted to go to. Any advice, what would that advice be? Um, I honestly, it would probably be to, to start something like you, what you guys have going right now. I mean, this is pretty awesome. You, you guys are able to interview uh, someone from every dental school across the nation. I think that's pretty awesome and pretty unique. Um, when I was applying, I was applying to schools that, you know, quite honestly, I didn't really know much about. Mm -hmm. I didn't have any connections there. I didn't know anyone there. Um, and you, you have to go to these schools and interview at them and, you know, they're, they're probably going to ask you, you know, why do you want to come here? And for me, that was a really hard question to answer when I go to schools that, you know, I just, I didn't know much about. Um, so I appreciate what you guys are doing for the future Thank and you, appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. And, you know, this is going to be a great tool for everyone that's going to apply to these schools. So I think it's, this is awesome. So for sure, man, appreciate that, man. Thank you again. Uh, you know, you gave tons of wisdom, you know, all the viewers, all the pre dents out there, you know, whether they end up choosing Utah or not, I'm, I'm sure they gained some valuable information from you. Um, if you could, man, just, I guess, give out, give out your Instagram. So if anybody has any questions for you about your journey or, uh, you know, Utah in general, uh, how, they can get in touch with you that way. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, my Instagram is at Tanbroski, T-A-N-N-B-R-O-S-K-I. 
uh, and feel free to direct message me anytime with any questions. Uh, I'll try and get back to you. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear from anyone. So feel free to reach out. Man, perfect. We'll make sure we put that down in the description box. Uh, if you guys have any questions for myself or Tyler, make sure you go over to Instagram, follow us at underscore future DDS. And uh, you know, you can send us a DM there as well. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the notification bell so you know whenever we post up new content. But I think that's going to be it, man. Tanner, one more time, uh, on behalf of everybody, the viewers and everybody out there, man, I just want to say thank you again. Hey, thank you. Thanks, Tyrell. All right, now. See you later. Hey, take care.